we're going to look at some terminology and notation which will make it easier for us to talk about patterns. So if we look at this matchstick pattern that we have looked at previously, and I want to talk about this pattern. So I'm going to be writing a lot of things like the number of matchsticks in figure one is three. And if I'm going to have to write out that whole long thing each time, it's going to take me a lot of time. So I want to find a quicker way to write that. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, let me just say instead of the number of matchsticks, I'm going to use the letter M to stand for the number of matchsticks. But then I need to specify that I'm talking about the number of matchsticks in figure one. So I'm going to put a one as a subscript to the M. And then I need to tell you that the number of matchsticks is actually three. So this notation reads as follows. The number of matchsticks in figure one is three. So check yourself. If I wrote that, what would the answer be? Well, this stands for the number of matchsticks in figure two. And here we saw that the number of matchsticks in figure two is five. And similarly, we could say that M three is going to be seven. Now, the thing I want you to notice here is that each time we were adding two and remember that when we went to work out what MN was, the number of matchsticks in figure N, we got that that was one plus two N, which we could also write as two N plus one. And the important thing that I'm wanting you to notice here is that it's a 2n because we're adding 2 each time. Try this quickly for yourself. Write down what m1, m2 and m3 is. Okay, m1, number of matchsticks in figure 1, so that is 5. m2, number of matchsticks in figure 2, that's 8. Number of matchsticks in figure 3 is 11. And what we notice here is that we are adding 3 each time. And remember what we saw was that then the number of matchsticks in figure n was 2 plus 3n. This we looked at in the previous video. And we can also write that as 3n plus 2. And again, the thing I'm wanting you to notice is that you get a 3n in your formula for figure n, whereas when you have this plus 3 as what's going, what is being added each time in your pattern. Now for the moment we've very much been looking at matchsticks, but ultimately we want to move away from matchsticks and just look at the pure numbers. So the pure numbers from that previous matchstick pattern we had was the first one had 5 matchsticks, then 8, then 11 matchsticks, then 14 matchsticks. So instead of talking about M1, M2, M3, where M stands for the number of matchsticks, what we're going to talk about is T for term. And when we say term 1, what we mean is the first number that we've written down. So term 1 is 5. Term 2, the second number in the pattern, is 8. Term 3, the third number in the pattern is 11, etc, etc.